there, my name is Alana and I use my YouTube channel as a way to justify my crippling Charlotte Tilbury addiction. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you the top 7 lipsticks for fair skin from Charlotte Tilbury. Now if you're like me, you want to love pillow talk, you love pinks, you love nudes, you want to have that pillow talk experience. But on myself, I find that pillow talk definitely pulls orange and it pulls too deep. And personally, I just don't find it all that flattering. Now I have another video, I'm gonna leave it linked down below where I go into some alternatives for other products across the pillow talk range. But today I wanted to share with you the top seven lipsticks with a real focus on neutral nude pink shades from Charlotte Tilbury for fair skin. So without any further ado, let's get started. There we are, nice and close, so let's get playing with those lipsticks. One other thing I wanted to mention, I have just shy of 50 Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, so when I tell you that these are the best for fair skin, I mean it. First up we have JK Magic. Now JK Magic is described as a peachy nude rose lipstick with a full bodied satin finish. I find that this lipstick has a beautiful, beautiful coverage to it. And the way I would describe this lipstick is if Bitch Perfect and Pillow Talk came together and had a baby. This lipstick is everything that I want from Pillow Talk. And on top of that, it's in my favorite formula from Charlotte, which is her satin. So if you like satin lipsticks and you're looking for a wearable, beautiful, soft, peachy nude rose sort of lipstick, I couldn't recommend this one enough. The next lipstick that I recommend for fair skin is Nude Romance. Described as a universally flattering peach nude lipstick in a magical refillable bejeweled case. Again, this is in her kissing formula, which is her satin formula. Now this lipstick is a little bit deeper and definitely more warm toned than JK Magic. I really enjoyed this one if I'm looking for something just a little bit bolder, maybe if I want to lean into that sort of 90s brick lip trend, but without it taking over my face and overwhelming me. I've found that every time I've tried a brick brown lipstick, it just completely washes me out. But this lipstick is lighter and a touch warmer, and I find it gives me that similar vibe, but it looks so much better on. The next lipstick I recommend is Runway Royalty. Again, in her kissing formula, this lipstick is described as a nude, soft rosy peach lipstick with a fresh dewy satin finish lip look. Now this lipstick is definitely more cool toned, which is something I don't often find with the lipstick described as peach. That being said, this lipstick is incredibly comfortable. It's always in my purse. I love wearing it out and about. I love wearing it spending time with friends. I love wearing it to the grocery store, even if it's under a mask. This is just a lipstick that I reach for time and time again, and is one of my favorite launches from Charlotte Tilbury from last year. So finally, I have a matte lipstick to share with you. This is Very Victoria in Charlotte's Matte Revolution formula. Described as a taupe nude matte lipstick for an everyday kissable look. Of all of Charlotte's lipsticks, I find that this is the lightest coverage lipstick. It really is a sheer to medium opacity at best, whereas many of her lipsticks do give a more full coverage look. This lipstick is my lips but better. It looks so flattering. It's just, it's almost like a veil across the lips that just brings out your natural color, brings out that natural flush. It feels so, so comfortable. And again, this is a lipstick I've been reaching for for years. The next lipstick I have to share with you again is from her Kissing Satin Formula range. This is Bitch Perfect. Described as a moisturizing nude tone peach lipstick with a satin finish, this is one of her lighter, softer, peachy nude lipsticks, and I find it is so flattering on my complexion. This is one of the first Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, and really one of the first Charlotte Tilbury products that I ever fell in love with. I have a backup of this lipstick. I have used up so much of it. For me to only have this much lipstick left with a collection as big as mine, that says something. I've already purchased a backup because I'm terrified of it ever being discontinued. And fun fact, every time I include this lipstick in a video and I write it out in the description box, it puts my monetization at risk. Fun fact. <laughs> but it's worth it because it is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite lipsticks of all time. Something I love wearing, something I love layering in different combinations with lip glosses and lip liners, and it just never lets me down. Next lipstick is, again, from her Kissing Formula, and this is Stoned Rose. Described as a warm coral rose moisturizing lipstick with a magic satin finish. I love this lipstick because it it's still neutral, it's still nude, but it's a little bit punchier, a little bit more bold. Love wearing this lipstick in particular in summer and fall. In sort of, to me, this lipstick is a September-October lipstick, but really you can wear it all year round. I love the warm tones, I love the rosiness, I love the pink, and I love just that little extra bit of color it brings to my face. I love that it 
leans into the coral orange family, but is still very much a neutral nude. And this lipstick paired with her Stoned Rose Instant Face Palette, stunning, stunning. I have a video on that palette and I'll leave it linked down below for you to check it out. But this lipstick, again, is one I reach for time and time again. The final lipstick I'm sharing with you today is Coral Kiss, which previously is known as Coachella Coral, and Coachella Coral is what's written on the back of my lipstick. This is described as a warm, coral, moisturizing lipstick for a vibrant, satin finish lip look. This is definitely the boldest of the shades that I've shared with you today, but this lipstick, again, just brings such a beautiful amount of color to the lips. I think it is so, so flattering, especially in the summertime when you've got a little bit of a tan, you're a little bit more golden. I find this lipstick is super, super flattering. I love it because it's bold and it's fun, but it doesn't wash me out. This lipstick, again, I reach for all the time, and I was actually so worried when um, I saw that Coachella Coral was no longer a thing because I thought the lipstick was gone forever. Thankfully, it was just renamed, but this is a lipstick, again, that I reach for all the time, especially in the warmer months. So there we have it, the top seven pink nude neutral, honestly, the top seven across the board, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I recommend for fair skin. So many of these lipsticks are lipsticks that I wear all the time, I'm always reaching for, I'm always recommending to my friends. So if you are new to Charlotte Tilbury makeup or you're just starting out your Charlotte Tilbury collection, or maybe you're just looking for a beautiful lipstick that won't let you down, I would definitely recommend checking out these lipsticks. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below if any of these really spoke to you, if any of these really excite you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, especially if you love Charlotte Tilbury, luxury and high-end makeup, and you don't mind some handbag content as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.